Hi, welcome to your self-love messages for the month of January and a brand new start to 2019. So collectively, all these messages are for everyone, but definitely let your energy pull you to three cards that are really key messages for self-love, self-care to keep in mind for January and the start of a new year, 2019. Um, if you need more time, definitely pause the video, but definitely pick three. Um, that are really calling out for you, but again, these flew out of the deck, so collectively they're messages for everybody for January and the start of 2019. All right, here we go. The first message. Oh, wow, dream bigger. Fabulous card for the start of January, a new month, and a new year, 2019. Sometimes we limit ourselves to small picture goals due to insecurity or fear of failure. Failure isn't certain until we give up. Allow yourself to start building what you really want. Co-creators will come. This is not the year to dream small. Definitely go for your dreams. Think about what you want to manifest starting right off in January for the new year, 2019. And you will find people show up. Situations will come in. Ideas will come in. Dream big and go for those dreams. You can manifest what you want this year. And this is a great card for the beginning of January in 2019. Dream bigger. Keep that card in mind for January. Fabulous card to start the year. Oh, wow. Rest. Beautiful image. And it says, divine timing is always spot on. Let go of your need to control and take a break. We've all been really working hard 2018. And with the holidays coming, it's a time to slow down, maybe rest a little bit, get off work, uh, just rest and recuperate and start the new year off fresh, well-rested. Um, also, there's divine timing at work, so sometimes not everything is in our control. We work and do our best, and then we rest and let everything else come into play, you know, to come together. So again, divine timing is always spot on. Let go of your need to control. I think about over control and take a break. Go with the flow, rest and relax, and um, you'll be rejuvenated for January and 2019, and know when it's time to rest. Um, you know what I mean? Like go with the energy and, and definitely don't be afraid. Don't think you're missing out or you're not getting what you need accomplished by taking those necessary periods of rest because that's just as vital as the go, go, go mode is to rest. Um, and you'll come back rejuvenated, maybe even with new ideas, new ways to go. Things will just come together during that period of rest. You'll be more in the current and the flow, you know, so it's always divine timing. Even that rest is divine. So that's the message for January, start of 2019. Ooh, look deeper. There is more beneath the surface. Remain cool and center. Take the time to look at the deeper underlying currents and follow your intuition. We've been getting this card a lot. This is all about looking deeper within yourself and trusting your intuition. Um, really, the, our intuition could be a lot stronger going into January and the start of 2019. So keep that in mind. Listen to your intuition. Take the time to look deeper within yourself, within what's going on around you, beneath the surface, um, and remain cool and centered no matter what's going on. And um, find that inner peace and always follow your intuition no matter what's going on. It's going to be really strong going into January in 2019, and that's for everybody. Um, okay, so if you got this message, ah, return to center. Fabulous card. Chaotic events do not benefit from panic reactions. The situation may not need a response from you. Stay calm and in your heart. This is all about returning back to center, finding your peace within. Not everything that happens needs an immediate reaction from you. You don't need to act in, you know, right away. Always return to center no matter what's going on outside. That's been coming up again and again as well um, to definitely, um, you know, remain calm, cool, centered and in your own heart, you know, not being pulled in so many directions by other people, but remaining in your center. That's your source of power. That's your source of inner peace. And hold on to that going into January in 2019, returning to your center, coming from your center. Oh, wow. Forgive and release. So this is, we are stronger for carrying love and forgiveness rather than hate or anger. We can keep our lessons learned without holding on to past hurts. Fabulous card to go into January, a new month and a new year, letting go of all that 
we should just leave in 2018, not bringing that baggage in, just feeling free and illuminated, you know, enlightened that, you know, we're releasing all that. Forgiving doesn't mean it's okay, you know, what happened or whoever. Just releasing. You don't want to carry that into a new month and let alone a new year. Let it remain in 2018. Take the lessons, leave the rest, and go into feeling free in 2019 and just forgiving and releasing. And forgiving, that's for you, not for them. You know, just letting them go and um, don't hold on to that hurt and anger and feel free and release detox go into January um, you know fully free of that old baggage for January and going into 2019 oh and this one oh my gosh this is all coming in we've releasing and breaking free from a lot this is also because again these are messages for the collective no matter what you pick as your main three but break free. We're freeing ourselves from a lot of stuff from 2018 going into this new month and new year. It's time to break free from feeling trapped by your past actions and the judgments of others. You can discard what no longer works for you. Absolutely. Break free. Ugh, like take these off and throw it off of you and let it stay in 2018 and walk off into 2019 without this all this twine around you and whatever you've been putting up with from others, situations, thoughts, judgments from others, whatever it is, just take it off you, release it, break free, let it stay in 2018, go into 2019, completely break free from that. And you know the truth of that. That's all about looking deeper too, returning to center, forgive and release, break free. Um, and we're dreaming bigger going into 2019 so far. So those are our messages. Oh, and patience. Conditions outside us sometimes determine the best time to move forward. It's okay to wait and work on something else until conditions change. Yes, remain patient. Not everything goes from 1 to 100 instantly, especially going to January. Sometimes people get back from the holidays. It's slow moving forward, getting the groove back. Things need to come into place to move forward. If you feel that the energy and the current isn't ideal, definitely um you know, work on something else, come back to it, have patience, all is working, it's divine timing. So sometimes it's better to wait for favorable conditions, just have a little patience, do something else in the meantime, and then come back to it, have some patience. It is working out, just might take some time. If you got this position, ha, huh, dance. This is all dance to the rhythm. Change is not possible without movement, and movement is everywhere in the universe. You're invited to join in the dance. There could be a lot going on, you know, go with the flow, find your own rhythm in it all. Um, that's in align with patience also um, and rest, you know. So there might be times dancing to the rhythm of life. You have to find your own rhythm in it, in, in it all and with the energy and the currents. So take that rest when you need to, go with the flow, have patience, mind your boundaries, other people's boundaries. You know, like if you're on the dance floor, you kind of, you don't bang into other people. It's like you're keeping them on boundaries, you're keeping to the beat, um, but you're also finding your rhythm within it all. So to keep that in mind, the dance of it all in January and to start of 2019, find your own rhythm within it all, inside and out. Oh, and the last one is play. I love that. Reconnect with your inner child. Find a sense of whimsy and wonder in all that you do. This has been coming up a lot too. Maybe we've all been work, work, work. Holidays as a break to play. Going into January in 2019, definitely take some time to just play just for the sheer joy of it. Get in touch with your inner child, your creative side, your passions, your natural play, sense of play. Get in touch. I always say get in touch with your inner child. Like, we're all work, 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 what can we can accomplish? But it's just as important to take moments to play just for the sake of playing and get in touch with your inner child and create and play just for the sake of playing, not even for any kind of reward or anything else. And you come back rejuvenated and more creative. It kind of overflows into the rest of your life. It makes you lighter, lighter spirit, childlike spirit, which only makes you more creative and um, more joyful. So a great card for January and bringing into 2019. And then for all of us, we got a crowning card, which I love. Own your power. Fabulous card going into January and a new year, 2019. Own your power. And this whole year has all been coming up. Uh, we really tapped into our inner strength and our inner power. So to get this as a crowning card going into January and a new year, 2019 is so perfect. Um, changing the world is easier after 
One has learned to change oneself, become the change you wish to see, and watch the world around you shift. 2018 was all about overcoming obstacles, difficulties. You probably changed a lot. You've tapped into your inner strength. That's been coming up so much in 2018, your own inner strength. You've found your own power. Own your power going into January and 2019 and work those miracles. See the change and the transformation in the world by tapping into your own power and putting that out there, making those moves, opening up your mind, owning your power going into January in 2019. So collectively, we've all tapped into our inner power, own your power, forgive and release going into this new year, break free of the old things that have been holding you back, whether it's internal negative thoughts, opinions and judgments from others, situations or people that are not, you know, whatever, dance with to the rhythm, have some patience, return to your center, dream bigger. That is the overall thing and have more fun, own your power and dream bigger going into January and this new year. I wish you all the best for 2019, a great start to January and take care. Bye-bye and check out my channel.